Okay. Thank you so much for joining us here at Rockland Public Library on this Thursday afternoon for the latest in our virtual programming series. We are so excited to have Davis Duo joining us today for a virtual concert. What a crazy year we have had to go um, online with remote programming and we're so lucky that so many of our speakers um, have been willing to adapt and to do these Zoom programs. I would like to start by thanking, as always, the friends of the Rockland Public Library for their support of our programming throughout the year, both virtual and on site. We couldn't do it without our wonderful friends group. I will tell you about a couple of upcoming programs um, here at the library. Next week on Thursday, July 30th, we will be welcoming back mushrooming expert and author Greg Marley for his second mushroom talk this year. He'll be talking about foraging for edible mushrooms and it will be a great talk for somebody who's just starting to learn about mushrooms. That will be on Zoom. And if you would like to attend, you can send an email to me at sbillings at rocklandmaine.gov. Um, and that will be one week from today at 6.30 p.m. In two weeks, we are going to be welcoming um, Marine Mammals of Maine, and they're going to be giving a virtual talk entitled A Seal's Journey. Uh, Jessica Wooden from Marine Mammals of Maine will take the audience through a seal's journey from stranding to release, and she's going to cover many of the obstacles that seals face along their journey. That should be a great program and that will be on Thursday, August 6th at 6.30, also via Zoom. So again, please uh, send me an email. I am Shane with the Rockland Public Library and you can request a link at sbillings at rocklandmaine.gov. So today, it is our monthly concert series and we are welcoming the Davis duo made up of Josie and Sophie Davis. Sophie Davis was awarded a Fulbright U.S. Student Research Grant to spend nine months in Samoa in 2017, where she explored the ways in which the arts can raise awareness of climate change. In addition to this research, Sophie taught and performed with the National Orchestra there. As for Josie Davis, she has studied at the Juilliard String Quartet Seminar, the Bowdoin International Music Festival, among other places. She's committed to creating more chamber music opportunities for young people, and she is the founder and director of summer workshops for young people in Maine and Connecticut. And today they join us for a one-hour violin concert, which will feature a range of styles, some classical, jazz, and folk. The Davis sisters grew up in Waldeboro and they have recently returned to Maine. They perform music throughout the mid coast, both as a duo, which you'll be seeing today, and as members of Halcyon, a Maine based string quartet dedicated to cultivating an appreciation and awareness of the natural world and climate change. And we're so excited. We've been planning to host them for months. Originally, we're to have them back in March, which had to be postponed. Um, due to the state of the world. And so we are thrilled to welcome them today for this concert. So enough out of me, I'm handing the stage over to Josie and Sophie Davis. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Shane, and thank you for tuning in to this afternoon concert. We are so excited to be able to share our music. And one of the things that this pandemic has taught us is the importance of flexibility and also the importance of the arts and culture in this time. And we feel that having a respite by sharing music um, is an important thing we must continue through this, even if it's digital. So we're really excited to share music for you. And we're going to start with, by playing a waltz called Josephine's Waltz. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you all so much for joining us today. My name is Sophie Davis, and we are so happy to be here. We just wanted to tell you a little bit more about ourselves and what we're doing now. Um, we both live in the Mid Coast area, and as Shane mentioned in his very kind introduction, are really devoted to performing and teaching around Maine, um, and both teach music in, in the Mid Coast area and are so grateful um, to be able to continue sharing music during this time. It's so important, and the more ways we can figure out how to do that, the better. So thank you again for joining us. And we're, like Sophie said, just thrilled to be back in Maine. After years of traveling and school, we just moved back and are living 15 minutes away from each other, which is a dream for us. And we have spent a lot of time in these months of isolation playing together, which is a blessing and something that we feel so fortunate to be able to do. And so it's really special for us to have a platform to share some of the music that we spend our days playing. So the next piece we're going to play is Leclerc's fifth sonata for two violins. And he wrote six sonatas. We've been playing them for many, many years. And I still remember the first time we discovered that batch of sonatas and we're so excited to have this whole new set of music to play. This sonata is in three movements, um, faster, slower, and faster movement. And it reminds me a lot of bird song in spring. You'll hear a lot of trills and fast little conversational gestures among the two violins. So we hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Thank you. 
All right, so we are going to move forward in time to Mozart. And this is a duo that he wrote actually for violin and viola, and it's generally played on violin and viola, but we recently found a version for two violins and love it and have always wanted to play it and our viola skills are just not quite up to par. So we decided to do it with two violins. Um, and it's an interesting piece. Mozart wrote this in the summer of 1783 after he returned to Salzburg. Um, and it was kind of a nervous visit for him back to Salzburg. He was introducing his new wife to his father. Um, and while he was there, he met his friend, Michael Haydn. This was Joseph Haydn's younger brother. And Haydn was ill and unable to fulfill a court commission that he had to compose six duets. And Mozart decided he would fill in and he composed the, the rest of them. And this is one of them. Um, turns out Mozart forgiven more praise than Haydn's, and so his are the ones that are remembered. But this is probably the most famous one, and it's in three movements as well. And we hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Thank you. We were fortunate to have a couple of days of less humid weather, and today it's so humid, so we're both feeling the humidity <laughs> as we play, which is, which is nice. Um, the next piece that we're going to play is another waltz, and it's called April Waltz, and I can speak for myself to say that I think it's my favorite waltz. And um, even though it harkens back to spring, we think it's worth playing because it's really, really beautiful and um, lovely. for solo violin. And Bach wrote six sonatas and partitas for solo violin that are kind of um, some of the most influential pieces I think any violinist will play. And they're incredible masterworks. And we have played many of them, all of them, individually. But we recently learned that you could play them together um, and found these arrangements for two violins. And it's been a really fun exploration to, to play these pieces with two people and kind of mesh our ideas and interpretations into one. So this is the Largo movement from Bach's Sonata.
Thank you so much. Um, I think that playing music, um, as we said at the beginning, during this period has been really important for us personally, as we think about the gravity of what's going on in the world. And it feels really warming, even though we can't see or be with you in person, to be able to share music and to be able to do that in our community. And so thank you so much for tuning in. And also thank you to Shane and the Rockland Public Library for supporting artists and supporting the arts and culture during this period. We think it's vital and it's sustained us. And so we're just really grateful that it's part of our community still, even in this really unusual period. And we hope all of you are doing okay through this too. We're going to end today with two jazz pieces. The first is a piece called Autumn Leaves, which is inspired by a singer named Ava Cassidy, who we love and who died very young in her career and put out um, a small amount of music, but all of it is spectacular. And we love her recording of this and so decided to try to capture as much as we could from the recording. And then following Autumn Leaves, we'll end with a, a very contrasting, upbeat and joyful piece that's called After You, My Dear Gaston. So thank you again, and I hope you enjoy these last two pieces.
Thank you again and welcome back to Sean from the library. Thank you so much, Sophie and Josie. That was phenomenal. A wonderful way to spend an afternoon. Thank you everybody for tuning out, uh, tuning in and not tuning out for the whole thing. I think people were mesmerized and the set list was fantastic. Thank you also for your comments about the arts, which we uh, share your view here at Rockland Public Library. I want to close out by thanking our wonderful director, Amy Levine, for working so hard to get us set up with Zoom so that we could continue to bring programming. And I want to, as always, thank our fantastic friends of the Rockland Public Library for supporting our programming, both virtual and on site all year long. We couldn't do any of this without our friends group. Next week, we will host Greg Marley for another mushroom talk. Greg is a mushrooming expert and author, and he will be talking about foraging for edible mushrooms. And in two weeks, we will welcome Marine Mammals of Maine for a program on a seal's journey. So if you would like to attend either of those, please send me an email at sbillings at rocklandmaine.gov. And for those of you who tuned in a little bit late to Davis Duo, or if you um, want to watch it again, we will have the video posted to the Rockland Public Library Facebook page and YouTube channel sometime early next week. So you will be able to view that as well. I want to thank you again for coming today. And I want to thank again, Josie and Sophie Davis for giving their time and talent to us with this wonderful concert. I wish you all a peaceful afternoon and take good care always. Thank you.